Hi, I'm Jennifer and I'm here to talk to you about how to measure for the correct wire when replacing a broken underwire in your own bra. So, you may notice that a lot of times um, you buy a bra and it lasts great and about a month in after washing it and wearing it, suddenly your underwires are kind of getting all bent out of shape. This is what happens just with normal wear and tear, but a lot of these manufacturers use really cheap steel and it's not hardened and it really just bends and sometimes it breaks. So if you have an underwire that looks like this, you really need to replace it. Um, I carry two different styles of underwires. So listen to this fully so you figure out which one you would actually be using. So I have a regular underwire, which is kind of a U shape and it's actually, it's kind of spread out on both ends. And if you look, I can pull mine and mine is not really gonna come out of place. If you bend it this way a little bit and really work at it, you can make it in shape a little bit. Oops. And I also have, <clears throat> excuse me, my vertical underwire. And if you notice, the ends on this are straight up, so they're vertical in shape. So usually smaller cups use this wire and larger cups use this wire. Um, but there is kind of an overlap, so you will actually see some larger cups use this one and some smaller cups use this one. Um, so I'll talk about that in just a second. So let's say you do have a wire like this or whatever and you're like, I need to replace this, but obviously this is not the shape of what you would actually want to be replacing. So we're going to check for the length. So what I would do is I would grab some string, and I have some craft string of my daughter's, and I'm going to line the tip up here, and I'm basically going to kind of walk it, line it up all the way around, making sure you're not pulling that string anywhere that it shouldn't be pulling. And if you have a broken underwire, you can do this basically, measure both sides, and then we come down here. And I'm just going to clip it right there at the tip. Okay, so now we have actually what the length is. So I can take this up to my, and of course my ruler is not long enough. Let me get it on. Okay, so here I've got my longer ruler, and I'm just going to measure this up to the top. And I've got this one is 13 and a quarter. So there's probably a little bit of room inside the wire channeling, um, but I really wouldn't go any longer than the wire than you actually have. Um, you might be able to get away with a quarter of an inch longer, but I wouldn't risk it in case they sewed it really tight. So I have, you know, 13 and a quarter. So I'm going to look at my charts. Now there are some charts I put up on the screen, but also in the product listing, um, they are listed there. So if you're on Amazon, the product um, description is all the way at the very bottom. So you can always refer to that chart. Or um, if you're on my website or on Etsy, you can actually see the chart right there in the listing. It's very clear. Um, so I have two different measurements here. One is the length and one is the width. If your wire looks like this, you need to ignore the width. But let's say you have a brand new bra that you haven't really worn yet and you're replacing wire in a similar one. You could actually then take the measurement from here to here and use that on the chart. But for this, we're just going to ignore the width because it's stretched out so it may not be very accurate. So I have 13 and a quarter. So if I were to do a regular wire, that would be, I have a 13 and a 13 and a half. So I'd probably go to the 13 inch, which would be a size 52. Now if I'm in the vertical, that would be a size 48. Now, if you notice, these are both size 44s. Whoops. I can't hold on to anything today. These are both size 44s, and you can see there is a difference. Um, one is a little bit narrow around the body, and one's just a little bit wider. So usually the regular one covers pretty much from an A to a triple D or an F. Um, anything larger, you probably have a, different, a whole different size range. Um, so let's say you are dealing with, um, you know, uh, trying to think of some some brands that are on the larger size, but usually they don't cover the whole range from A through triple D. They might actually start at double D or triple D. And in that case, they will most likely use a wire that's a little bit narrower. Now what this does is as your body gets wider, um, as your bust gets bigger, this one is implying that it's your body's getting wider too, which is not true. And then this wire can end up poking underneath your arm. Because of the shape of this one, this is actually gonna come before the underarm. So it should be a little bit more comfortable. So if you're working, if your bra comes in a larger range, like that higher range, you want to probably check out these wires, which are the vertical. So once you kind of look at your measurements and figure out if you're in an A through F or an F and above, 
you want to choose which one would be more appropriate. And then I know I do have recommended sizes. Now that is not uniform for all manufacturers. Um, that's just kind of the average of what I found fits these sizes. So as opposed to going solely on the recommended sizes, I would actually go with the length measurement that you created. So if you're in the lower range, you want to look at the regulars, and if you're in the higher range, you want to look at the vertical. Now if you're an overlap, so let's say you're anywhere between a double D, um, double D, triple D, so which is E, F, or G cup, it is possible you could go in either direction. And in that case, I would actually look closer to the recommended size and the length of the wire and see which one you're closer to. And whichever one you're closer to, then that'll tell you if you're going to be in the, uh, the vertical or the, re or the regular and then look at the actual length and then choose that wire based on the length. Thanks for watching. If you would like to have more content like this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, or leave a comment below. Thank you very much.